Hey everyone! So making gold in WoW Classic can be quite tricky. So I've put together my top 10 ways to make gold in World of Warcraft Classic. And actually some of these apply to retail too. I'm sure there are many other ways to make gold out there, but these are my personal top 10 ways. Leave your best ways of making gold in the comments. At number 10, we have the Sell to Vendor Profession Items. I recommend a few add-ons such as Vendor Price and Auctioneer. For example, a ruined Mithril Hammer, the weapon sells to vendors for 2 gold 16 silver. Now bear in mind this is guaranteed profit so you will always get this amount of money. So if you can buy the materials to make 10 of these items for less than the vendor price then you're in profit. Not bad for 10 minutes work and plus you can always watch Netflix on the side. Professions aren't always the easiest things to make money with especially in classic but there are still ways of doing it. Learn the auction house and track which items are cheap. Auctioneer can help you with this. Well, it will give you a percentage figure of how cheap or expensive the item is relative to the other items. At number nine, we have farming the Badlands. Oh yeah. One of the best places to mine for mithril ore, iron ore and solid stone, as well as farming meat and other materials. This is a wonderful area for mining and making money. So, as you can see, the red areas contain stone elementals, which drop solid stone. You should be able to get around 50 solid stone an hour approximately, which shells for about 6 silver each on the auction house. Or more importantly, you can turn these into grindstone in blacksmithing and you can use these in many different recipes. The blue areas are areas which are best for farming. This is farming ores, really. The purple areas contains a cave full of ogres and treasure chests. And the green areas have dragons. You could probably get some good money skinning the dragons, though I'm not a skinner. At number eight, we have elemental fire farming. Now these sell for about four to six gold each, but they also have quite a low drop rate of about two to three percent on most mobs. These are used to create greater fire protection. Uh, pots is an abbreviation of potion. The best places to farm are Ongoro, near the centre, Atari Highlands, there are, there's an area with a lot of fire elementals, and there's a really nice area in the middle of Fellwood. You can buy Dream Far Foil from the auction house uh, relatively cheaply, normally get a friendly guild or a buddy to make you greater fire protection potion. I mean, if it was easy to get, then, you know, people would uh, not pay so much. At number seven, we have Farming Essence of Earth. This can be farmed from the infernal sentries in the same area of Fellwood where you are farming your elemental fires. You farm these by killing the level 52 to 53 elites. Now these can be quite tricky um, to kill for some players. I can solo them okay. If you do find them tricky, it might be worth teaming up with a buddy in the area as you can actually get a lot more loot a lot more quickly and you can also take much larger pools so it is absolutely worth teaming up with someone else you can also get rock in farm elementals in sif oh, i can never say this area sifus and the burning steps so the essence of earth sell for about five to six gold each and they are something which is quite good to farm, especially if you're in Fellwood and you're farming your um, elemental fire anyway. So at number six, we have buying recipes from vendors and selling them on the auction house. Now this works better in retail WoW because people generally have a lot more money. So an easy way to make money in retail is to buy food recipes, for example, from a pub in Stormwind and other areas. You can actually buy these from around the world because a lot of people, especially on retail, just want the item and they don't really care so much about the money. So again, you can make quite a lot of profit here. And at number five, we have the auction house amalgamations and upscaling. Let's say, for example, there's a lot of mithril ore for five silver each. We could buy all of the cheap mithril and then convert it all into mithril bars providing you've got that ability and sell them on the auction house for 15 silver each in other words that's about 2.5 gold for a stack of 20 
these very quickly add up. If you're, for example, making lots and lots of different transactions, for example, you can quickly make quite a lot of money with very little effort. It might be worth putting on armor, which is less expensive, so that you get a smaller repair bill. That's something to consider, guys. Now, I would recommend you become very familiar with one small area of the auction house. So, back in vanilla, I made a lot of money buying and selling leather. Now in vanilla, I'm making more money selling ores and blacksmithing. At number four, we have buying and selling meat. So you really need vendor price installed for this. So on the auction house, mystery meat sells for about one silver, 40 copper. Now the cost of hot spices is 36 copper. So just from this, you can make one silver, 24 copper selling the finished product to the vendor. I could actually leave meat selling to somebody else. But if you want to watch a program on Netflix and you just want your character to sit there for, say, five minutes making you some money, then this is an easy and relaxing way of Netflix and chilling. Now, at number three, we have dungeons. And this also includes raids. So dungeons are a great way of making money generally just from the creeps and the random item drops that you get. If you get lucky, you might get an item which is worth possibly hundreds of gold. Mirrodin's Signet dropped, which sells for about 150 gold upwards. Another popular item from Stratome Living is the Righteous Orb, which sells for about 25 to 45 gold each, depending on your server and demand. These are used in popular Crusader weapons buffs, and you normally get between one and four per raid. So, in a five-man raid, you stand a pretty good chance of getting one of these. Normally, if someone gets one of these, then they will actually forego any extra rolling after that point, so that everyone in the group is more likely to get one. And number two, we have boosts. A popular place to boost a group is the Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. So, in a nutshell, a powerful level 60 will charge around two gold per run, so warriors and mages are probably the best at giving these boosts and lower level players will basically pay the more powerful higher level players to run them through the dungeon really quickly with minimal effort and they'll obviously be able to roll on any items that they get. Boosts will normally be offered on the Looking for Group World Chat. If a warrior were to boost four players through the cathedral in Scarlet Monastery, then that's eight gold that you're making before you even set off. Now, I'd say you can easily get through the cathedral in about uh, 25 minutes, fairly easily. It's, it's not a massive run, but the loot's very, very good. Players get about double the experience they normally would get. And at number one, we have the Dark Iron Bars. So I noticed a lot of the time, the Dark Iron Ore on the auction house doesn't sell for very much. In fact, I've seen it for as little as 10 silver a piece. In order to be able to smelt the Dark Iron Ore, you need to give one of the dwarves in the eight ghost fight, um, his name is Gloom Rel, 20 gold bars, 10 true silver bars, and two star rubies. And then you can basically learn to smelt Dark Iron Ore. But there's a catch. You can only smelt Dark Iron Ore at the Dark Forge, which is located near the Molten Core entrance in Black Rock Depths. So, in other words, if you want to smelt a load of Dark Iron Ore, you really need to go through and do a Black Rock Depths run, which you could possibly last about 45 minutes, maybe about an hour. I say that I'm going to be running a, a Molten Core attunement run. It kind of means that you're not going to spend a lot of time sort of running around doing the prison break and whatnot. So you're just basically going to get to the forge. In order to put 20 dark iron bars on the auction house, it'll cost you about one gold in the deposit, which you get back if it sells. I really hope you enjoyed this content and I look forward to it hearing your thoughts in the comments. What are your best ways of making money in World of Warcraft Classic? Okay, guys. Until next time, that's Watorius signing off.